Everyone who is ethnically Korean, I think, is implicated in this struggle for a unified Korea, whether they want to be implicated in that discussion or not. Everything you get out of North Korea is not equally important. In fact, a great deal of it is unimportant. A lot of it is propaganda. We, we tend to look at North Korea uh, through glasses, They're heavily tainted by ideology and the media commercial interest. We have now about 23,000 North Koreans living in South Korea, about 500 North Koreans living in Japan. It's not like a slot machine. It's not like you just feed in a bunch of variables, pull the handle, and you come out with an answer. But the reality is, a lot of these reports are false, exaggerated, distorted, and uh, self-completing sometimes. So you walk down the street and you see, in Washington, D.C., you see potholes. What would you conclude? Ah, there's a shortage of asphalt. If you're not careful, if you don't know the context, you can really interpret things completely the wrong way. The ability to get food, the ability to access food, is a basic human right. So you see, human rights are not singular phenomena. They always exist in plural. They have been watching Hollywood movies so many times, they may feel more threatened on LA streets than living in Seoul. But the problem with news media coverage of North Korea is that we don't know the ordinary. What is the ordinary in North Korea? And we just uh, focus on the extraordinary aspects of North Korea again and again. So extraordinary becomes the ordinary.